Hey guys, what's up? Primal here, and welcome back to another reaction video. So, my slight prediction actually did happen. We did get one last trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak today. And kind of had a feeling they'd have like a launch trailer or something. They had something similar for Iceborne, so I figured they might have something for today. Or not today, necessarily. Or something, sometime this week. And apparently it was today. So, yeah. Final trailer called A Kingdom Savior. Revealed four new monsters, Shaguru Magala, which was leaked to us already, and I kind of knew it was going to be there regardless. Just, It's just, you know, common sense. If you're going to have Gore, you got to have Shaguru as well, and maybe Chaotic. But we might see him later on down the line. We haven't really seen him in, you know, confirmed as part of the main roster yet. He might be a title update. He might be something they're not showing us yet. Might be saving it for the main game. Then we also have a variant of Magnamala, which had to happen as well. I, I kind of knew they've always, you know, given the flagship of the base game like a subspecies or a variant, like Ruin or Nerd Gigante. And now we have Scorned Magnamala, which is a variant of Magnamala. Furious Rajong. I was also part of a leak I found, and then there's also Seething Basil Juice, which from what I heard is going to be a part of the title update featuring Lucent Narga Kuga. So. Yeah, there's that, and yeah, guys, let me just say it's, things are really shaping up. I also saw a leak of the final boss. I'm not going to say anything about it, just, you know, given standards. Just going to let y'all experience it for yourself. I mean, it's there in the leak. It's biology and everything on Reddit if you want to go look, but I'm just going to leave things at that, and I'm going to watch the trailer. So with that said and out of the way, let's get right into it. When mankind is consumed by darkness, and the land falls into chaos, the archdemon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. Beautiful! This whole trap is like fighting Barry off and things are coming to hit them. Yeah, that's Barry off. Looks like Oh wow, he has a full on beam attack. Now that's awesome. There's Furious Rajong. Especially looking pretty good. Then Spoon Knight follow. Beautiful. It's a lot bigger as well. It can't be. And these wandering flames shall feed the beast and return to darkness. The story ends. Another begins. Oh. Something about the Katron is on. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. Oh boy. Is that the main theme for something like Yeah! Out on a hunt is my favorite you! Must be Remember what you're fighting for! Don't dilly dallying from you! Yes. Oh, Mass Drake Magnamalo, Magma Almadron, Dying Bones, Lunagron. Now Zeno. Ah, the lords are fighting each other. The lords are fighting each other. That was, that was beautiful. Oh, there's still a little more. I guess this is what they're going to use to show off seething basil. Ooh, Napalm scales look a lot more explosive than before. I feel the title update, they, they've got to do something special for him. So Seething Basil and Lucent Norga are going to be part of the first free title update, as well as several other monsters. And in the fall update, it looks like we get... some 
Foreign Flying Wyvern. Looks like it's... I think it's Espiness, because I saw a leak that they're probably going to bring back White Espiness, and there's also something about a Thunder Mizutsune. I think that was, that's what the other one was in the second silhouette in the thumbnail for that. So yeah, guys, that's our final trailer. It was beautiful. That whole opening was definitely something else entirely, though. We we got a small teaser of the final boss. Um, as I said before, I saw the leak on it, and I also saw its biology. And it looks like everything in the trailer lines up with it. So it looks like, yeah, the leaks are accurate. But I also heard from the way things are lining up in the leaks, the roster for Sunbreak is going to be rather small. But in, in a sense that... It's okay, really, because, I mean, you know, quality over quantity, that's what people should really try and shoot for in most games. And if they do it with Monster Hunter, that's fine. Just given expectations, you know, we figured maybe the roster would be, like, maybe two-thirds of what base Rise gave us. Given how that it was the case for Iceborne, it was, like, two-thirds of what... It was two-thirds of what base world had, so... But it, it's okay, I mean... The monsters themselves are really awesome. Like we have a stellar lineup. I can't wait to see more. Plus, we got plenty of title updates. Not to mention, Base Rise itself had some. It had a plethora of monsters bigger than what World had initially. Like World, in it before the title updates, it had um, at least thirty. Yeah, 30. I thought it was 29 initially, but that's because Boss Fight Database didn't include Zora Magdaros in its playlist. I, in their playlist, I don't know why, because it is indeed a boss monster. It's the siege monster of the game. Or it was before Kulv Taroth and Safajiva came along. And then, yeah, with Rise, we got at least like quite a few more than that including the Apex monsters. If you take them away, you, you still end up with 40. I mean, but base rise, it had at least, like, 30, 35 before the updates hit, and then we got boosted up to, like, 40, 45, like, 40 if you take away the Apex monsters. And it, was a, it was a good lineup for what it had, and I'm sure we'll get something close to that. I mean, there's going to be plenty of title updates, a lot more than what base rise had initially so yeah there's still there's still a lot to look forward to just gotta be patient wait for them to come out so yeah um with that said now the way oh yeah we can't forget like small clip of tetronodon and they're afflicted by blood blights like the frenzy virus in a sense from what i've heard from what i've heard there's something called afflicted monsters they're afflicted by the blood blight it's the same as gore's apex monsters before before Ibushi's came along in the Rampage and all that jazz happened. So instead of the Rampage, we get like this version of Powered Up Monsters, which is called Afflicted Monsters. They're afflicted by the Blood Blight, and you gotta stop them. They're much stronger. And I'm sure we'll find out more about it in the coming days, like maybe tomorrow at least, because they always like shoot a little earlier before. Like, you know how they are on, you know. The day before the game actually launches, like, they drop practically everything for us. Maybe a day earlier. Who knows? It could be as early as tonight. be early as tomorrow. We could actually start seeing things on the initial release date. But knowing standards, it always happens, like, the day before the game initially launches. So, yeah. With that said, now the way, I'll leave it there. I hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.